Hello everyone, this is going to be a no-nonsense guide to downloading Entanglement, and real quick before we get started, I just want to say the reason I'm making this video is because the only guide I could find doesn't actually show you how to mod Boneworks as well, and all of the current modding tutorials usually are outdated or a little sluggish. So this is going to be a quick, easy way to download Entanglement. So step one, go to the Melon Loader wiki. You can simply Google Melon Loader up on Google. Remember, it is a wiki, which I know throws off a lot of people, but it is literally a Melon Loader wiki. All you have to do is scroll down and you'll see the Melon Loader installer.exe. You're going to want to get this for the automated installation, which 90% of people watching this video actually give a shit about. Once you have downloaded and opened the Melon Loader installer, you should see this little installer. What you're going to want to do is go to where you have Boneworks saved, double click it, it'll probably be in a different place for each of you. I'm not going to reinstall because I already have my Boneworks modded, but for you it should just say update or install, or just click update if install's not an option, and if install's an option, do install, just whatever the option is down here that isn't delete. After modding your game, I like to be safe and boot it up once. Once you've booted it up once, you can then close the game. And now, if you go to your Boneworks folder, if you head over to where you have Boneworks downloaded, you will now notice that you have a Mods folder, Plugins, and User Data folder. For this video, we're only going to be needing the Mods folder. So what you're going to want to do to get mods, because Bone Tome is now shut down, is head to boneworks.thunderstore.io. You can just look it up. Make sure you click the Boneworks version of Thunderstore and you will be sent to a list of mods for Boneworks. Um, you can either go to most downloaded because it is a very highly downloaded one. Make sure you don't download Boneworks MP. This is the old multiplayer mod that doesn't have the cool physics syncing that Entanglement does. If it's for some reason not here, you can simply search it. Next, click on Entanglement and then click Manual Download. Or, if you want to be safe, because usually for me, I had a weird bug where clicking manual download installed version 4 even though 5 was out, it's probably safer to just click on version 5. Once you have Entanglement downloaded, you should see it open, you'll have the DLL file, and you're going to want to drag and drop that into your mods folder. Once you've done that, I'm not going to do it here because I already have Entanglement downloaded, you're going to need another mod in order for this to work, and a plugin that comes with that mod. Once you've done all that with Entanglement, you're going to need another mod called Mod That Is Not A Mod. Now, it's usually pinned here, but again, if for some reason it's not, you can just search for every mod that I'm talking about. So click on Mod That Is Not A Mod, scroll down, and download. Once this is downloaded, there's going to be two things you need to drag and drop. First of all, open your mods, and then just drag and drop the DLL into your Boneworks Mods folder. You don't need the XML file for this to work. Next, head back up in your Boneworks folder and open Plugins. Go to your Plugins, drag and drop the backwards compatibility plugin.dll into your Plugins folder. After doing this, your game is now completely modded. All you need to do now is start a server or join a server, which I will be showing you how to do in this clip. Okay, so here we are actually in Boneworks, and one thing I should note is you need to have discord downloaded on your pc you can't do it through the web browser you need to have it downloaded so once in boneworks you'll see you now have a bone menu uh you should only have entanglement if that's the only mod you downloaded i have a couple because i've downloaded a couple mods click on entanglement and let's say you want to turn on voice chat go to voice menu and you can enable voice activity and you can change this stuff it's based on your discord so make sure you have it on set to your discord you can check your net stats you can go to public lobbies, but this usually doesn't work. I mean, it's working here, but usually it doesn't work for a lot of people. It's like a 50-50 chance. You can ban people by going to server menu, players, clicking a player, clicking ban or kick. You can start the server, stop the server, disconnect from the server you're in. So if you want your friends to join you, you both need to have Discord. You click start server, and then you send the invite via Discord. I'm going to show you how to join a server now. So if you want to join a server, it's very simple. Just go to where an invite is sent and click join. And now you'll see in just a second, it'll load into whatever map they're on. If it's a custom map, you have to load it yourself, but it'll load into whatever map you're on and you'll be in Boneworks multiplayer. If you want to actually send a server invite, uh, make sure you have your game opened. Go to the mod menu, start the server like I showed you earlier, and then down here it should like light up green next to the plus, and one of these options will be invite to play Boneworks multiplayer. Send the invite, and people will be able to join it 
just like you're able to join other people. And that's everything you need to know to get the Boneworks multiplayer mod up and running. Thanks for watching. Leave a like or something, that would be cool.